Hey guys, it's me, Nez. I wanted to come in here to share um, a little poem, if you will. And it all started with uh, last night. I think the Lord dropped into my mind the word gossamer. And when I think of gossamer, I think of spiders and spider webs. So the book, um, E.B. White's Charlotte's Web, came to mind. And I'm like, Ugh. I just had this thought of like, let me look at it through the, you know, the lens of grace. And uh, I came up with this, I don't know, poem. Okay, let me read it. Another perspective of a childhood tale told from the eyes of grace. A pig destined to die is saved by a wise spider who weaves words of praise. Her name is Charlotte, which means free man. And truly, she sets Wilbur free from death. As intricately designed gossamer webs spell out the praiseworthy identity of the swine, so does the blood of Jesus that showers us believers who were unclean. As Wilbur, it wasn't that we were so spectacular. But because Jesus, like Charlotte, loved and cherished us as friends. So, uh, you know, the story of, um, you know, Charlotte and Wilbur, the spider is Charlotte, you know. And Charlotte means petite and free man. So petite, you know, because spiders are very small. So that makes sense. And then Wilbur means wild boar, you know, pig and everything. So it, you know, Charlotte, Wilbur and Charlotte were friends and it was, um, the Wilbur was supposed to, was going to die, um, you know, cause he's, um, ham, you know, <laughs> you know, there's no rare pigs to just like keep as friends. Although, um, the, um, the main character, the, um, little girl, you know, loved Wilbur, but, uh, you know, he was supposed to die. But so the, the idea was, uh, that came to Charlotte was, um, let me just say words of, uh, like write a words on her web, like weave words. Like there was one that said some pig and radiant and, uh, you know, like, um, terrific. And, and so people would be like, he'll be there and see these words. I'm like, are they referring, <laughs> are these about this pig? Like what's so spectacular about this pig? But it's not like, it wasn't because Wilbur was, you know, so awesome. He was just a pig. But Charlotte loved Wilbur, you know, and I don't know, it just, this probably doesn't really mean anything, but it just struck me because Jesus, we were all destined for eternal death and damnation. But through the intricate, wise, the wisdom of God, you know, all by design, you know, <laughs> you know, the plot thickened and Jesus died for our sins, died in our place so that we may not be a slave to sin until death, right? Right? and suffer eternal damnation, but he died in our place so that we can be free, so that we can be a free man. So the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. It speaks freedom. It speaks life, right? So I, I just saw the parallels and the, you know, like like an analogy. And um, I, 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 I'm sure E.B. White did not... <laughs> That wasn't her intention, but I just pull that, you know, from this children's story. And it's so beautiful, you know. You know, the grace of God is, it's, it's so deep. The depth of God's grace is intense. 
it's fierce. I mean, he loves us with such a love that you can't fathom it. And it, 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 it carries us. And, and just like spiderwebs, that grace sticks to you. Once you receive his grace, you're stuck. <laughs> you're stuck, you know. You're, you're, you're in the Lord's web. And it's, 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 it's not because you're his prey, you know. <laughs> like he's going to devour you and like condemn you or whatever. You are there to have and to hold you know, like marriage vows, he's going to have and hold you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.